Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. Have you watched my previous video on the two-stage power backup system? This will look familiar to you. This is a three-stage power backup system where I have added back the battery to the mix. Uh, why would you want the battery in the mix? Well, if you want three independent power sources or perhaps a little bit longer runtime, uh, this could be a good option for you. If you're looking for more resiliency in the power sources for your turrets in that um, you want to create more smaller circuits so that all of your turrets are split up among different power circuits, um, this could be an option for you as well. If you just want one big massive circuit with a massive generator bank backup, then look at the two-stage video. Um, this setup is limited to 89 units of power output because we're limited by the 100 unit output of the large battery and we can only have one battery uh, because of the limits of the root combiner. So similar setup as before but in this case because of the limitation of the battery uh, you're only going to get 8 turrets and uh, of course uh, you need 88 units of power if you're going to use uh, power all the turrets and their outputs. If you're just powering the turrets, they only need 10 apiece, so you just barely can't get 9. Um, so either way, you're kind of stuck on 8 turrets per circuit with this setup. Good news is, you run off of your main power. If your main power runs low or gets destroyed, it'll automatically switch over to the battery, which when fully charged has a 4 hour runtime. So uh, let me kill the, the main input here. Let's pretend your stuff got knocked out or the sun went down or whatever. Uh, now we're running on battery. You heard the turret reset briefly as it switched over to battery, but we're still running 89 units of power. And then in this case, I'm using three generators because I need uh, uh, more than 80 units of power. I wanted to get the same amount, that 89, so I got three generators here. Also works out nicely because these splitters have three outputs. So this works cleanly that when this battery runs dry, it's going to cause this blocker to open cause this battery to fit, trigger the force start and all three of these generators will file up, uh, fire up. When main power comes back it will have excess power that comes over to the branch here which causes this splitter to turn all the generators off and switch back to main power. Now you'll see when we're running on generators we actually get 119 because uh, you know there's 40 units apiece here. Um, can't get that reliably on the other side with the battery so you just kind of have some excess power when you're running on generator. Uh, again, if you're looking for more power, go with the two-stage solution. But this will work if you want more circuits of smaller capacity that you split up your turrets among. Uh, let me plug the main power back in here. You'll see that it is self-resetting. So the generators shut off. The battery starts charging again. And uh, we're running off solar and wind. And actually, the turret doesn't reset when you switch back to main power, which is nice. It only resets when you're dropping, when you're losing power and dropping to another solution. So here is the three-stage variation of the power backup system, which potentially gets you four hours of battery plus two hours of the fuel that's in your generators. So that's a total of six hours of backup um, from three different power sources, which you could put in different places in your base to help protect against attack. Um, let's just hope they don't hit the main uh, output here <laughs> or you're out of luck. Uh, I will post um, in the description of the video here a link to the Restrition uh, schematic for this. It looks like this, in case you're wondering. Uh, main power, battery backup, and then the UPS backup that kicks, or the, sorry, the generator backup that kicks in if the battery is exhausted. There's also another variation of this, which I will also share with uh, with you. Looks like this. It's slightly different because it goes from main power to generator and uses the battery as the last resort. Um, it may just be your personal preference which way you want to do these. Um, it, it can technically work either way. Uh, I'm a fan of using the... Um, main power and battery first because there's no startup time for the generator the cutover time is just slightly less uh, so I I prefer this particular scenario but you can really use either one so I will post the uh, 
the link to both of those schematics in the description. And uh, if you're looking for a three source uh, or a three stage power backup, three source power backup with the limitation of only being able to get 89 per circuit. So you might need a few circuits to get a lot of turrets going, which could be a good thing. This is the solution for you. Good luck out there and don't suck. Thank you.